let's make something great for the airplane. And here are our little bentos for tomorrow morning's early flight. All right, this is the part that frightens me because I'm putting a liquid in to my carry-on. All right, let's see if we get these puppies through TSA. David and I are getting ready to take a trip together tomorrow. So I wanted to do a little something special to eat on the plane because, you know, all that food on the plane is so good. What food? Yeah, they don't even give you food on the plane. So I'm going to be packing bento boxes for us to take on the plane. So come along with me as I pack those for our breakfast. We're actually having a day with no rain, some actual blue skies. I'm gonna get some fresh spinach from the garden. I've also got some fresh arugula here. Oh my God, this arugula smells amazing. Let's see if any carrots are ready. There's one. Let's check some celery too. All right. All right, I've got some carrots, spinach, arugula, parsley, and celery. Let's go make something. The thing I love about having a garden is just being able to get a few things out of there just to have something I grow on my own. This just makes me really happy. So in December, I was diagnosed with a blood sugar issue. My A1C was too high, as well as you know my blood sugar and my blood pressure. So we're on a low carb meal plan right now. And so a lot of bacon and meat for some healthy fat. And before you make any comments about me eating bacon and meat, just remember I'm using bacon that has no nitrates in it, uncured bacon, so it's gonna be better for me. The sausage on the other hand, not so much, but again, it's better than eating the processed carbs that keep my blood sugar up. When I travel, I like to use these little bento boxes because it keeps everything compact, but it also is very stylish. And it has two separate sections here and they keep everything in here nice and contained. They're also um, come with their own silverware and a little tray. And um, these are vacuum sealed. So this is on here pretty good. You'll see here, I've got to kind of work this and get this off of here but it keeps everything. You can actually put liquids in here. They won't leak out. So I love these. All right, next is breakfast sausage. Now it's not nitrate free. It does have some spices with a tiny bit of dextrose, but it's still a good protein for me to have in the morning. So I'm going to make this. All right, two and a half ounces of this sausage has one gram of carbohydrate. 12 grams of fat and 17 grams of protein. So this is gonna be something that'll help keep you satiated on the flight and uh, during our whole travels tomorrow. So the bento boxes are pretty small. And so I need to make something that will fit in there. And so I'm making little sausage meatballs for us to have for our breakfast bento. All right, let's pop these in the air fryer. All right, now I've got the meatballs, sausage balls in the air fryer. Let's get ready to do the eggs. I wish you could smell this because it's like a little bit of heaven in my nose. Spinach, arugula, and green onions from the garden. All right, now that's cooking in the pan. Let's get the egg mixture ready. Counting on two eggs per person, so four eggs. They look perfect. Let's try one of these sausages. Mm. Perfect. So just using these silicone cups because they're perfect size and they're gonna cook well in the air fryer and be perfect in the bento boxes. Perfect for our early morning breakfast at the airport. Right. 
topping them off with a little bit of pepper jack cheese, a little extra flavor, protein, some calcium. All right, I've never done this in the air fryer, so let's see how it goes. All right, let's try this. All right, I had some leftover egg mixture, so I just made myself a little omelet to eat. And then a couple of sausages too. We discovered this smoked bacon chipotle salt, and I'm telling you, it's probably one of the best things I've ever had. I'm gonna be using it in something special in the bento box. So I'll leave a link below to this salt because it literally is addictive. Is it just me or am I imagining that this shape looks a little interesting? I'm gonna stick this on David's little bento. <laughs> you gotta have some fun sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's check on our egg bites. You gotta see these. These turned out amazing looking. All right, so I kinda wanna try one, but there's only three each, so I gotta save them for tomorrow. Right, now comes the fun part of putting this all together in the bento box. Because bento box is about compartmentalization, portion control, and display. I wanna make this look really nice so David has a nice surprise on the plane. I'm using these little skewers to make meatball skewers. All right, here's my egg setup, and now all I'm gonna do is put these little meatballs onto these little skewers. I think, I don't know, three or four, maybe four each. And set those right in there. Yeah. I changed my mind and I'm gonna put a little bit of our celery from our garden in here just to line the bottom of it up and just kind of make it look a little pretty. Presentation, Let's see how we do with that. Now we'll put these back in here. That looks a little better. A little bit of green. Yeah, I like that so far. All right, I'm gonna try to add some color and spiralize this little carrot in here. Let's see if it works. It may not work. Yeah, that was a fail. Let's try this. See if we can make some little decorative things out of this. Try this one. There we go. Little decorative little pieces. Little star. Look at that. Cute. How about a little heart? A little heart. We'll try that one too. I need a little heart. Oh, I can't get it out. I'll use a chopstick. There. Tiny little heart. All right, no breakfast is complete without coffee, so I have some instant organic coffee and some of this sweet and creamy powder that's like an allulose and a cream together, so it makes a nice creamy coffee. So those will be part of our beverage. I'm probably wondering, well, what is she gonna do with the bacon? I've got a plan. But before I get to it, I'd like you to like and subscribe to my channel. And let me take you on how I'm going to make a little beverage box that goes along with this. All right, I've never tried this, so we're gonna see tomorrow if I get away with it. But I'm going to be bringing fixings for Bloody Marys on the airplane. All right, this is the part that frightens me because I'm putting a liquid in to my carry-on. So I have these little bottles and I'm gonna to try to put some hot sauce in them and some salt to see if they'll let me get it on board. If they don't, I figure they'll just make me throw one of these things out. The salt I'm not worried about, but the hot sauce, yeah, that could be a problem. This ought to be a trick. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, it's going. A little bit at a time, but it's getting there. <laughs> I don't have a little funnel, so it's just, oh, that made a mess. It might make a mess, but it's gonna be good. All right, I tried several methods and the easiest method, <laughs> look at this, is just to slowly drip it in here one drop at a time like that. So it's getting there. All right, all cleaned up. <laughs> Looks a lot better now. 
I'm obviously going to have to invest in some little funnel. What's a Bloody Mary without some fixings? I love these olives. So good. <laughs> all right, I think the trick to this, is I'm gonna poke a little hole in this and squeeze out all the liquid so I don't have it like leaking all over the inside of this thing. All right, here's the first one. Now for some homegrown carrots. Can't be a Bloody Mary without celery. I have this little heart carrot left, I'm putting it on the hot sauce lid. All right, you wanna take a look at the finished bentos? Here are our little Bloody Mary kits. Here are our little bentos for tomorrow morning's early flight. To keep the bacon crispy, I put it in a little bit of parchment paper here, the brown paper, so that in case any of this leaks a little liquid, it'll keep the bacon crispy. A couple of skewers with some condiments, and of course, celery and carrots, and a little bit of hot sauce. And then these are my egg bites and my sausage balls. I just say sausage balls. <laughs> now the big question is, am I gonna be able to get these through TSA tomorrow? All right, all packed up, ready to fly tomorrow. All right, it is 3.30 a.m. and we're headed up for our flight. All right, let's see if we get these puppies through TSA. <laughs> get hot water at the airport to bring on the plane. That way I can make my tea super hot coffee whenever I want. In case you're wondering, that was one of the best breakfasts I've ever had on a flight, so much so that I even got it on my vest. 